All right, so I've got some coins and I'm looking at projects in DeFi. Should I stake or should I provide liquidity? Is there a platform that'll let me do both? Let's talk about Unistake. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hit that subscribe button, slam the bell icon so you're notified when new videos come out. Your support is so appreciated. Thank you. Unistake in 2021 in plain English. Let's do a little bit of a breakdown of what Unistake is, its history, what it's currently doing, and where it's headed. Before we do that, though, just a reminder that your business and financial decisions are your own. Nothing in this program should be taken as financial or business advice. All right, so Unistake offers something of the Uniswap liquidity provider rewards combined with the passive pooled staking rewards of coins like Ethereum. Stacks of racks on racks of stacks. Stacking and stacking, racking and packing. All right, you get it. We make this stuff up as we go. What does this have to do with GPU mining, Seth? You might be asking. Well, obviously in the current environment, GPU miners are killing it. And those rewards would be best put to use on platforms that give you a force multiplier for the coins that your GPUs have earned for you. This makes intuitive sense to me. I think it does to you. There are various ways you can do this. You can choose projects that are not in the Ethereum network space. But if you're mining Ethereum and you're mining tokens that run on Ethereum to support the Ethereum network, I don't see why you wouldn't be using platforms like this to uh, amplify your rewards. Here's a bit of the history of Unistake. Launched in late 2020 with huge interest in the pre-launch sale. 5,000 Ethereum raised during that pre-launch of the token. And there are about 5,500 token holders now, or about 5,500 wallets that hold it now. Daily volume exploded up from 20,000 up to 20 million, not long after the uh, announcement of their, their soft launch in early February of 2021, the organic growth is up and it hit the CoinGecko top 30 trending list. Screenshot right here, doesn't lie, number 12 on that stacked ranking, they're doing really well. The Unistake present stories that the community is strong. The use case makes sense for both projects and liquidity providers, people who provide the coins on both sides of a sale. We'll talk more about that in a minute. It's an obvious market success. Here's a screenshot as of the time of publication on CoinGecko. You can see green candle number go up, up and to the right. These are all charts that we like to see, and we're in the middle of a bull market, but Unistake is making a strong case for its market offering. It's not just the halo effect of other projects in the cryptocurrency scene. Unistake is doing this on their own. The Unistake present, this is technically still just the beginning. They only just launched. It's technically still a micro cap, especially compared to larger, more established projects in the cryptocurrency and DeFi space. There's plenty of opportunity ahead, so it's not a bad time to evaluate. Again, you do you, you do your own research, but the devs are obviously working hard. They're delivering on milestones and they're not just promising functionality. They're actually delivering it. There's a platform you can actually use just like they said there would be. And the platform is launching on time. But again, let's get to the nitty gritty of what problem it actually solved. We'll talk a little more in detail here. DeFi needs liquidity. But why? Well, automated market maker platforms like Uniswap run on it. Without liquidity, you can't buy or sell. With low liquidity, you have high volatility in markets and vice versa. High liquidity equals low volatility. So you want as much as you can get and you need partners to help make that happen. The problem that most DeFi projects face in this space is attracting liquidity. It's actually really hard when you do it on your own. The developers who spend time attracting needed liquidity take time away from building the core product. It's a bit like political campaigns. Think about how a politician spends roughly 70% of their time in office campaigning for the following term to be reelected to get back into office. It takes them away from doing what you thought they should be doing in the first place. Now, to be clear, obviously, DeFi developers are not politicians or elected officials or whatever. But if we're going to commit our coins to their cause, we want to see them work on the project and develop and deliver what they said they were going to bring. Most projects, unfortunately, believe if you build it, they will come. All they have to do is focus on delivering milestones. But unfortunately, that's why they never hit critical mass. There's a balance that they just can't achieve. And the hardest part for them is achieving that liquidity. On the flip side, the problem DeFi supporters are people who are providing liquidity like you and I. It's also kind of harder than it seems. Uniswap, eh, those profits can be really unpredictable. 
The smaller pools return a lower APY, and there's a risk of impermanent loss. It's what it sounds like. There's downside, and there's real risk. So how does Unistake help on the project side? It automates the liquidity attraction, stabilizes liquidity pools, so developers can focus on their core offering. And then the pools have predictable costs and rewards, and of course, it's free to use, so why not? How does Unistake help supporters, liquidity providers like you and me? Well, guaranteed returns on top of Uniswap fees. So in addition to the typical Uniswap liquidity provider fees, there are staking rewards that can be accessed by locking up funds through Unistake instead of just Uniswap. The APY is paid in one or both of the tokens from the liquidity pair. This differs substantially from platforms like Uniswap or like SushiSwap and others in that oftentimes you're paid in a third token. This is huge for people who just want to grow a specific bag of a specific type of coin. And uh, especially in a market riddled with high fees, this is very attractive. Reduces or eliminates the risk of impermanent loss, which everybody loves to hear. If you can minimize risk, can't always de-risk, but can minimize it. So who specifically is Unistake for? Well, for DeFi projects, for one, but especially low and micro cap projects, newer projects that are trying to focus on just building those projects that think if you build it, they will come. Well, if they use Unistake, that might be true because the liquidity can be attracted by Unistake. And then users who want greater APY, lower risk, but currently feel trapped into just hodling or just farming on specific platforms because they worry about the impact of either fees or missing out by trying to withdraw from whatever scheme they're already involved in. Uh, it can be a bit of a bit of a problem. So let's recap. DeFi needs liquidity. Unistake offers automation of liquidity for projects, stability of liquidity and uh, and what to expect in terms of costs for projects, but also stability of rewards and much less risk for users. And then predictability along with that stability. If you know as a project that you that liquidity is coming in, then you can get focused on building. And then diverse rewards for users, it, the sort of thing that platforms like Uniswap simply can't offer today with the way that they're built. To recap the Unistake history, again, launched in 2020 with huge pre-launch interest, 5,000 ETH raised, everything is up and to the right, and the community is very, very strong because of that. But here's a bit of the Unistake future. Pools have been announced so far and have just recently soft launched. The Unistake pool with over a million in staking bonuses already awarded. And then the trust swap pool announced the first official trust swap pool with 20,000 in staking bonuses being offered and more pools coming very soon. But there's one more thing. Yes, an announcement of an announcement of an announcement because technically I'm not part of the team. I'm just doing this. I'm including this announcement. But there's a QR code if you want to see the Telegram uh, announcement for yourself, as well as the link. It's also in the description uh, and in the show notes, all the links that are relevant. Here's what they've got. Let me go ahead and I'll read this in my best announcer voice. Something big for DeFi. Unistake is already known for releasing unexpected additions to our use case and pending launch will be no different. And they go on to announce that there is something even more coming. Based on the history of this project, I don't doubt that they're going to deliver on what they say here. So this is pretty cool. If they're already stacking, staking rewards on top of liquidity provider rewards, that's exciting enough. The fact that there could be something more is really, really cool. And they wouldn't announce it unless they knew they could deliver. So that's Unistake in plain English, an update for 2021. You tell me down in the comments, are you using any kind of automated market maker platforms? Are you on Uniswap, for example? Are you trying out or evaluating Unistake? Has this video changed your mind in any substantial way? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what project you'd like me to review in the near future and, uh, and what coins you think are exciting. Put me in contact with their leadership if you'd like me to do an interview or a review there. Uh, as always, thank you for being a loyal subscriber and thank you for watching all the way to the end. You're the reason I make this media and I love your face. I will see you very soon.
Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you want to be notified of videos like this in the future, first off, click subscribe, press the bell icon. Additionally, you can sign up for the Mind Your Biz email newsletter. That'll give you exclusive access to certain freebies, notifications for deals within the cryptocurrency mining space, as well as some of our flash sales for merchandise, which you can buy with cryptocurrency. That's right. It's the only cryptocurrency merch that you can buy with cryptocurrency. We practice what we preach. As always, thank you so much for watching. You're the reason I make this media. I love your face, and I will see you in the next one.